Hello, this is Doug with Air Purification Education, and today we're going to review the Aris Air Pro 3-in-1 air purifier. About three years ago, I helped the dealer I was working at bring the Aris product line on board and helped us become the first dealer for Aris in the entire United States. I was kind of proud of that, actually, as I felt like it was one of the most exciting brands our company had started carrying in years. I was in direct contact with the owner of Eris on a daily basis for several weeks. His name is Pierre B. And he helped answer many questions on the product lines and also some stuff about the industry in general. And he was, you know, great to deal with. It's very rare that you get daily direct access to the founder and CEO of a company that is as special as Eris. Pierre has a master's degree in engineering from MIT. He was actually getting his PhD from MIT as well but he quit mid-program to start Eris in 2015. So he's like this super smart, you know, maybe even a genius type guy, right? So I had an Eris 3-in-1 at my desk for several months, and I currently have one in my home, and I've probably sold about 40 of them to various customers in the United States, only because we had a problem getting them in stock and keeping them in stock uh, during COVID, or else I would have sold, you know, double, triple, quadruple that number. So I'm pretty familiar with the unit and the company, so let's get into it. So where's the 3-in-1 manufactured? The Aris 3-in-1 is manufactured in Switzerland, just like the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. The fan and motor are manufactured in Germany. Specifications. Let's go over some specifications on the 3-in-1. Number one, the size. It is 23.6 inches tall, 14 and a half inches wide, and 15.2 inches deep. Number two, weight. The unit weighs about 35 pounds. Number three, casters, wheels. The unit is on casters, which are small wheels, so it is very easy to push around on the floor. Number four, power cord. It comes with a five-foot power cord. Number five, what colors does it come in? It comes in three different colors white, gray slash graphite, or peach. Number six, what is it made of? The unit is made of ABS plastic. Number seven, fan speeds. The unit has six different fan speeds. And here are the CFMs of three of the speeds. On speed one, which is the lowest, it is 60 CFMs. Speed three, which is about medium, is 200 CFMs. And speed six, which is high, is 390 CFMs. Number eight, noise levels. On low, it is 35 decibels. On speed three, it is 42 decibels. And on high, it is 65 decibels. Number nine, area coverage. The Aris 3-in-1 Pro air purifier on high speed can replace the air in rooms up to 2,000 square feet with eight foot ceilings about once per hour. In rooms up to 1,000 square feet, you would get two air exchanges per hour or one every 30 minutes. And in rooms up to 500 square feet, it would be four times per hour or once every 15 minutes. So it's a very strong unit. Number 10, energy consumption and cost. The three-in-one plugs into a regular household outlet. It is a 110, 120 volt unit, and it uses 180 watts on high speed. If you run the unit 24 hours per day on high speed, and the average electricity cost is 16 cents per kilowatt hour in the United States, then it will cost about $20.85 a month to run. I would say that is the high starting point, just to give you an idea. Number 11, warranty. The unit has a two-year warranty. Number 12, the CADR ratings. So what are the CADR ratings on this unit? 
The answer is it doesn't really matter. If you've already seen my video on the CADR ratings, then you already know there are many problems with how they conduct their testing procedures, and therefore the results would not be considered accurate by many professionals and many manufacturers within the air purification industry, and they will not enable you to determine if one air purification solution is superior to another. You may want to take a look at the video on my channel called, Is the CADR Rating Important? Wi-Fi Digital. On the Wi-Fi Digital and Remote Issues, yes, the 3-in-1 is digital and it is Wi-Fi enabled. It does not come with a remote, but it is Wi-Fi enabled, so you can control it from anywhere. It also comes with an air quality sensor that samples your air 10 times per second to identify and remove dangerous pollutants, allergens, bacteria, and viruses. Yes, it says the sensor actually tests your air quality 10 times per second, which is kind of hard for me to imagine or believe, I guess, but uh, that's what they say. And I mean, the owner, you know, he's an MIT grad, so I'm gonna tend to believe him. It also has a night mode, which dims the lights on the unit, and it has an auto mode, which helps optimize energy use reduce noise, and prolong the filter life. The Aris 3-in-1 Pro air purifiers connect to the Aris Air air purifier app. Through the app, you can control the power, adjust the fan speed, see your indoor and outdoor AQI ratings, which means air quality index ratings, view historical data, and switch to smart mode so your purifier will automatically adjust airflow based on the air quality sensor readings that occur 10 times every second, no less. The filters, airflow and filtration. Let's go over the filters. The unit comes with these little wire pre-filter nets to prevent anything from clogging the airway. And they come with magnets that go on the bottom of the unit in four different locations. And then there's the big three-in-one filter that has three parts to it. It houses the pre-filter on the bottom, the carbon is in the middle, and the HEPA filter is at the top of the cube. So they are all in one big filter cube that weighs about 12 and a half pounds. So the air travels into the unit from the bottom on all four sides, up through the filters, and then comes out through the top here. So how good is the filtration? This unit may very well be the best mass-produced standalone air purification solution for particulates on the entire market. It filters better than HEPA. It has a HEPA H13 filter, which has been tested to remove 99.98% of pollutants down to 0.1 microns. Now, let's go over this a little just so we all understand the significance of that statement. The definition for HEPA, which is the main benchmark in the industry, is filtrating 99.97% down to 0.3 microns. But this unit exceeds that and does 99.98% down to 0.1 microns, which is absolutely insane. It ain't good air filtration, it is elite air filtration. It was also tested by an independent lab to remove 99.9% .9 of airborne viruses, including COVID. So I do think it filters the best for particulates on the entire market of any air purifier that I am aware of. So it is the real deal for particulates. The filter also has two pounds of carbon, 1.54 pounds of activated carbon and 0.44 pounds of activated alumina. So it will also help take odors and VOCs out of the air as well. Maintenance intervals. What are the maintenance intervals on the filters? The filters are supposed to get replaced about one time per year on average. That is, if you run the unit on speed three, which equals 200 CFMs. Plus, it is literally the easiest filter replacement of any air purifier I've ever seen. You just pull the top off the unit, Click. which is held in place by magnets, and pull out the old cube Boom. and just insert the new filter cube and put the filter in place. It literally takes one minute to change Boom. out the filters. And I remember the very first time I saw the filter change, I couldn't believe how easy it was to replace. I remember actually laughing at my desk and just, you know, being amazed at, you know, how well thought out the filter replacement was. It is by far the best and easiest filter replacement process I've ever seen on any air purifier, and obviously I've seen a lot of them through the years. As mentioned, it also comes with these four little pre-filter nets with magnets that attach to the bottom of the unit, 
that you can occasionally clean off. Cost of filter replacements. Let's look at the cost of ownership for filter replacements for the three-in-one with current pricing. The replacement filter comes to about $199 these days, and it's gonna get replaced about one time a year on average when you run the unit on speed three. So you're looking at about $1,791 total over 10 years for the cost of filter replacements, or about $179 a year on average over 10 years based on today's pricing. These numbers obviously depend on today's pricing and how often you run the unit and at what speeds. So let's look at the total cost of ownership when the unit is run on high speed 24 seven. Basically, this is the most expensive scenario we're gonna look at first. And we're gonna use the average United States cost per kilowatt hour of 16 cents. So let's assume you run the unit on high every second of the day, every day of the year. I do run some of my air purifiers in my home like this, you know, 24 seven. If you do this, then the average filter replacements would be about once every six months, so that's gonna be $199 per filter cube replacement times two, which equals $398 a year. And the electricity would be about $20.85 a month times 12 months, which is gonna be $250.20 total per year. So if we add the filter replacements and energy cost for the year on high speed, you'd be looking at about $648 a year or $54 a month. That is on high speed. And I think the vast majority of customers won't run the unit 24 seven on high, but that just gives you an idea. If you run the unit on speed three, which is 200 CFMs every second of the day, every day of the year, then your replacement filter and electrical costs would be about $304 for the year, which comes to about $25 a month. So basically about half the cost. And I think most people will probably be looking at this type of monthly investment. I personally view all these numbers as an investment in your health more than a cost. Just like I invested money on my home gym equipment or supplements, you know, just something to think about. That's how I kind of look at it. So let's go over the manufacturer support levels. Let's talk about customer service and response time from the manufacturer. In this case, it was really kind of like sales support. So I emailed Eris three times in a week off their support page on their website, but I did not receive my answers for over seven days and 20 hours, almost eight days. So it took an entire week to get answers from them on my questions. And they really only answered one out of my three questions correctly which is really only a 33% success percentage. And in baseball, if you hit 33% over time, if your batting average is 330, you know, that's pretty awesome. But it ain't good for sales support for an elite air purification solution. So I called them for clarification on my questions and I got in touch immediately with somebody. And the guy in chat, I mean, you can see him in video on your screen, which is cool. And he was really nice but he was not able to answer my questions on the CFMs on the unit either. So he sent me to another department and that woman was also very nice. And she put me on hold for about five minutes to get an answer for me. And she came back and she said she'd have someone in another department send me an email with the answers to my questions. So she took my email address down. But unfortunately, I never received an email with the answers from that phone call. So their sales support is very, very poor, in my opinion, based on that exchange. They have a finite number of products, and it surprises me that they couldn't get me the CFMs of the unit on the six different speeds, like, pretty quickly, actually. They should be able to pull that off. Their support people should have access to technical specifications on all their air purifiers, of course. I mean, I wouldn't even consider the CFMs as being a technical question. It should really be in the specifications for the unit. And to make matters worse, I mean, they don't have a lot of different products to deal with. And the CFMs for each speed is not a very difficult question to handle for manufacturers in general. I know because I worked for a dealer and we dealt with hundreds of different units, even thousands from over you know, 40 different manufacturers just on air purifiers. And even we could get those numbers easily within 24 hours if we couldn't find it within five minutes. And 90% of the time, to be honest, we'd probably be able to get that answer within five minutes, within like 60 seconds probably. So the manufacturer should really be able to get those numbers super quickly on their own product. Dude, that is a 30 second turnaround time in my opinion. 
it's kind of crazy because we're talking about an elite product and I feel like you know, it's like calling Mercedes Benz on one of their six figure SUVs and, you know, them not being able to tell you the miles per gallon that the car gets. I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it. Honestly, when I review the email answers they sent me, I kind of feel like they don't know the product, like barely even know it. So I was very disappointed in their sales support and I have to give them a thumbs down. I mean, hopefully it's not a reflection of their overall customer service, but unfortunately, in my experience, the two are oftentimes somewhat related to each other service-wise. So yeah, I would say my interaction with them was unacceptable. They get an eight out of 10 for friendliness because they, you know, they're really nice. They're really nice people, but they get a two out of 10 for product knowledge and a two out of 10 for email support. Maybe they just hired a couple of new people in their department who are in the process of learning. And that happens with every company. And, you know, service levels are going to go up and down for every company. Like when you go in a restaurant, sometimes you get amazing service levels. Sometimes you don't. You know, even the company that I worked at, sometimes their service levels would be amazing. Sometimes it was horrific based on the time of year that we we're dealing with people. So you don't know what's going on internally in the organization, but it was not good. And I'd probably want to fix that pretty quickly if I were them. Okay, let's go over the pros and cons of the three in one unit. Here's a quick list of what I like about the unit in no particular order. Number one, world class particle filtration and probably the best in the entire market for dust, allergens, mold, asthma, pet dander, and viruses. This is what makes the solution so special. It has elite filtering capabilities for particles, the Bentley of the industry. Number two, super easy filter replacements. The filter replacement is the easiest to change of any ear purifier I've ever seen in 16 years, and I've seen hundreds of units. They did an amazing job of making the filter replacements super easy. Number three, aesthetics. This is not a huge issue for me, but I do think the three in one is a pretty good looking unit compared to some of the competition on the market, like the IQ Air Health Pro Plus and Austin Air Solutions. You know, I'll hear people complain about the way they look. People in general seem to like the way three in one looked. And I think most folks will probably agree. It's, you know, it's a pretty decent looking unit. Number four, Wi-Fi capabilities. I like that it has the Wi-Fi option with the app and that you can control it with your phone. And in particular, that you can see the AQI, the air quality index outside your home on the app. This basically could possibly tell you whether or not you should open your windows on a seemingly you know, nice day and bring in fresh air or possibly not open your windows. Number five, iRobot purchased them. I love the fact that iRobot, a billion dollar robotics company, purchased Eris out of all the different hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of air purification manufacturing companies in the world, they chose Eris. And that just solidifies my belief that Eris and the product line is actually as amazing as they seem. They are absolutely elite and best in class. Number six, manufactured in Switzerland. This is generally considered a very good thing. And they have German made motors, which I also consider to be a good thing. Number seven, the CEO and founder Pierre B has a master's degree in engineering from MIT, which I've mentioned a couple of times already through the years. I've personally worked with a few MIT grads and, you know, they were some of the like smartest people I've ever met, kind of like geniuses in their own little way. Right. So that combination is going to be extremely rare to find in the industry. And I see it as a major positive for the entire company as all their products, you know, that they make should be of a very high quality. So those are just a few of the pros I've come up with. Now with the cons in no particular order, things that I don't particularly love about the unit or company. Number one, cost of ownership. The filter gets replaced on an annual basis and it will cost about $199 per pop. And that is not cheap. So the money you pay or invest in filter replacements will generally be more than most of the solutions on the market. Number two, customer service sales support. I emailed them three times off their website and it took seven days and 20 hours to get a response. I don't care if you're selling world-class air purifiers or coffee mugs, this would not be considered a good level of service in any industry, period. 
number three, the three-in-one filter. It possesses a three-in-one filter. So if you need the unit to do a good job on odors, but the carbon component in the filter gets saturated, then you'll need to buy an entirely new filter to help take out the odors. That is the disadvantage of having the carbon filter combined with the HEPA filter. Number four, the two-year warranty. I really dislike the two-year warranty on the unit. For an ear purifier that's over $700 to me, if you have a lot of confidence in your solution, then you have a longer warranty than two years, you know, maybe a five-year warranty. Number five, it's a relatively young company and offering. So the company has only been around since 2015. So the oldest unit on the market can only be eight years old, which is not too long in the air purification industry or even most other industries for that matter. So the units have not really been involved in real world use for an entire decade at this point. I may be being a little bit picky on this, but that's how I currently feel. They've only been around for eight years. So the vast majority of their products in consumers' hands have actually not even really been used on a day-to-day -day basis for even seven years yet. Just something to think about. Number six, iRobot purchased them. So on the one hand, it is massively impressive that iRobot purchased Eris, and at the same time, there can be some negatives associated with a merger. Whenever a company gets purchased, it changes the corporate culture of the company, and they are now, in part, being controlled by an entirely different entity. There are new managers put in place, and some staff changes, etc. I see where one of the Eris founders, Constantine Overlack, recently left the company in February of 2023. And he was one of the two original founders of Eris. And his title became Director of Air Quality after iRobot purchased them. So sometimes, or even usually, these changes can cause issues, at least in the short term, for companies and organizations. For example, I do think if I asked the Eris staff three years ago, before they were purchased by iRobot, the same three questions I recently asked them that they would have easily been able to provide me with my answers really quickly. But now the new iRobot sales staff is dealing with two different product lines and they still seem to be having somewhat of an issue adjusting to the newer ear purification product line, even though they've had it for over a year. So those were just a couple of the cons or negatives on the three-in-one and the Eris company that I wanted to bring up. These represent my feelings on the situation as of today, and they may very well change over the coming months and in the future. So let's go over a couple of appropriate applications and environments for this solution. So here are a few different applications that I would and would not recommend the Eris 3-in-1 for. Number one, particulate filtering like allergens, asthma, dust, pet dander, as stated before, I think it's the best on the market. It provides elite filtering for particulates. It is a fantastic solution for this. Number two, mold. Yes, you could use it for mold, but I've spoken to many people through the years who became super sick from mold. And so I tell people, you know, if they live in an apartment and they have a mold problem to leave the environment if they can, because typically the landlord is not gonna do a great job of mold remediation. They're usually going to do it pretty inexpensively and with people who are not experts. So if you're in an apartment, you're in that type of situation, I generally tell people to leave if possible. You know, you, you can't just like throw some Clorox on it, uh, some bleach or whatever, and, you know, cross your fingers. But let's say you can't leave your apartment, you know, or you're in a home and you're getting mold remediation done or whatever. So if you have to coexist in that type of environment, I don't know of any unit that I would rather have than this one because your overall health is really on the line in that particular situation. Number three, cigarette smoke. No, I would not recommend three in one for cigarette smoke from someone smoking in your home if you plan on putting the unit in the same room with the smoker. If that's the case, then I'd look at another solution on the market for a home smoker. But for secondhand smoke, you know, coming from a neighbor, like smoke coming through your vents, if you live, you know, like in an apartment or something, then yes, I do think we'll do a good job for that situation. Number four, wildfire smoke. Yes, I think it will be one of the absolute best solutions on the market for wildfire smoke. Absolutely. Number six, chemical sensitivities. No, I would not get the three-in-one for MCS issues. I'd look at other solutions for MCS. Number seven, general air quality. Yes, is one of the absolute best air purification solutions in my book for improving general air quality. Whatever room you put the solution in, when it's sized correctly, 
the air quality it provides you will be tough to beat for sure. Number eight, COVID and viruses. Yes, this was my favorite solution for COVID. As mentioned, the three-in-one has been tested by an independent lab and proven to capture and remove 99.9% .9 of airborne viruses, bacteria, and mold, plus filters 99.9% .9 of the inactive COVID in 30 minutes. So yes, absolutely for viruses. So those are just a few applications to give you a general idea of where I think the 3-in-1 may or may not be a good fit. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help answer. If you would like to help support my channel and content and order the Aeris 3-in-1 from Amazon, there is a link below. If you want to see how the Aeris 3-in-1 compares to some of the best air purifiers on the market, then please click on this video here as I compare them head to head. Thank you so much for your time. I sincerely hope that this video was of value to you. And until next time, have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.